Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. I just got back from watching Blumhouse's latest horror movie, Freaky. And Freaky follows a teenage girl named Millie who isn't really all that popular, but she does have two great friends by her side to get her through this high school life experience that is only about to get much worse when the urban legend of her town, the Blissfield Butcher, pays her a visit, causing them to accidentally swap bodies and hijinks ensues. That's all I'll pretty much say about Freaky without giving spoilers to so you guys. This is a completely spoiler-free review. I was lucky enough that Blumhouse was having a screening in my area. They even gave us these great little freaky masks. Do I look cute? I got one extra sealed up, so uh, comment, subscribe, like, say you want the mask. I might send it to you. You can look cute like me. But also, shout out to Tristan. Was a fan I met at the screening. Was really kind, not creepy at all when you whispered Chucky Boy to see if it was me under my mask. Thanks for being kind. But getting back to my review here, like I said, I did go to see it in the theater. Don't cancel me for that. But one of the main reasons I just was dying to see this movie and was so happy there was a screening in my area is because one, Vince Vaughn, absolutely love the dude. I think he's hilarious and anytime I get to see him in a movie is always a good time. But also the notion that this technically is a slasher movie that was rated R. Because this is being brought to us by the same people who made Happy Death Day. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I do like the first Happy Death Day. I thought it was fun. Did not really enjoy the second Happy Death Day, so I was kind of mixed to see how this one would turn out, and boy... This is such a fun, great, rated R slasher right here. It does have a lot of great comedy elements. It's definitely going to make you laugh. I was laughing so hard at some of the scenes in this movie. But as an added bonus, if you are a slasher fan and you actually like gore or a good creative kill here and there, this movie freaking delivers. Because I'll say it right here, I like this movie way better than Happy Death Day. The director, Christopher Landon, has a really great balance here of being able to make you laugh and then when the moment are getting tense and they try to actually replicate a horror movie in this comedy it works out really well with the music with the camera choices it's not a bunch of jump scares and they do take advantage of that r rating where there are some great takedowns in this movie that even if you don't like the premise and you think the comedy is whack you are going to appreciate some of the kills in this movie but what even took it to another level for me were the actual characters in this movie because they weren't all throwaways they were actually very entertaining you have your main character Millie, who, like I said, is just your average teenage girl who gets bullied in school. She has a traumatic past of losing a father. I was kind of surprised that the movie was able to add some levity to these moments and these characters that I thought were just going to be throwaways or one-dimensional. And her two friends that tag along are also really great, likable characters. Her guy best friend in this movie, who I'm going to butcher your name. I'm so sorry, man. Misha Oshervik. The dude was absolutely making me laugh every time he was on screen, had a a lot of great one-liners and these friends are so great that when they're put in danger you actually are feeling for their lives and you're like I don't want this guy to be butchered off screen he's really funny another thing that horror fans are absolutely gonna love about this is it is so clever with the whole Freaky Friday situation and what they're pulling off here because yes I know we've seen the Jamie Lee Curtis movie and Lindsay Lohan movie I love it too but they extend that to a whole nother level because what they essentially build up here is Vince Vaughn's character who is this butcher serial killer is essentially Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, or Jason Voorhees. He has the large stature, he has the strength, he has the slow pacing walk, he don't have the iconic costume, like come on Blumhouse, I need you to get with it with the iconic costumes, I can't be doing it with a regular black clothing and half ass mask, okay? Give me something more iconic next time, but that's an argument for another time. When these two finally switch bodies, they get so clever about it, that now the killer in this teenage girl's body no longer has his strength, no longer has his big demeanor, and in a way the good guys now have that strength that even though Michael Myers walks everywhere he can still catch up to you quick he can just shove you a little bit but it's a huge push just because they have that unbelievable strength it's just kind of things that even us as fans who have been watching these horror icons for the longest time we would love to do if we were in the body of Michael Jason or Freddy but really the main thing that carries it home is Vince Vaughn and how he is perfectly able to act like this teenage girl stuck in a man's body his mannerisms his voice the way way he walks like just seeing Vince Vaughn run but thinking he's a teenage girl is so hilarious to me there's even one scene that I don't want to give too much away but she's basically in the car in the back seat with the boy she's in love with and that entire scene so hilarious and cringe filled at the same time like in the world we've been having lately and just how horrible it's been this is the perfect kind of movie to just have some fun but it also throws in enough horror elements where you feel like you are watching an actual slasher film 
Because admittedly, yeah, the movie has its flaws. It's very goofy at times. Some things don't make a lot of sense. Like how a majority of the movie, the best friends are helping out the guy who was basically in the serial killer body that is witnessed by cops, teachers, all these people. And they never have to pay up for like, oh, so why were you helping the killer? What was the reason for that? Ah, never mind. Everything's wrapping up in a bow. But that's where the comedy part comes in that can let me forgive some of the more goofier elements of this film. Because it was clever enough, it paid so many homages to classic serial killer movies like the opening of this film feels like Scream. When Vince Vaughn is actually acting like a serial killer persona, he feels like Jason Voorhees and even has little Jason Voorhees music. And towards the end of the film, it's something very reminiscent to what has happened countless times in a Michael Myers movie. So for Freaky, I'm gonna give action three stars here. There were a lot of great chase sequences that went down and even the fights in between these characters and the takedown kills were really sweet to look at. Comedy in the movie, I'm gonna give it four stars here. This movie is hilarious to me. I did not think they would be able to pull off the horror and comedy because that's kind of hard to do. But Vince Vaughn and some of the other great characters in here will have you dying of laughter. Drama in the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars here. It's a body switch movie. We've seen this formula done over and over, but the exact reason why they switch and how they have to undo it is really well done, I think. Part of the film, I'm gonna give it three stars here because when it actually tries to be a serious slasher and you're in that serious moment of, okay, you're alone in a room with the killer it actually does a good job of shifting the tone just for a sec until we move on to the next funny scene suspensive film i'm gonna give it three and a half stars because like i said when it actually came down to those slasher moments they built it up real well especially towards the end i was actually like holding back in my seat waiting to be scared casual fans i'm gonna give it an a plus cinephiles i'm gonna give it an a minus and critically i'm going to give it a b plus for Freaky, I highly recommend you add this to your collection at home. That's a keeper. I know it's kind of hard to go ahead and recommend you to go watch a movie in theaters during this whole pandemic, but if you social distance, you follow the rules, you put on your mask, and your theater is open, I highly suggest you go check this out when it comes out November 13th. It's so much fun. But if not, support this movie when you get a chance, man, because if they gave us two movies of Happy Death Day, I want freaking three movies of this. These are so well done. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be checking out Freaky if you get a chance? or is this a movie you were going to pass on? Love to know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to enter if you want the mask here. It is sealed up, not touched by me. If you want me to wear it and then send it to you, I'm not going to do that. But be sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.